It's the worst hit city in Brazil, with the enormous favelas of Sao Paulo, the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's taking the lives of at least a thousand people a day in this country. And if it's not much worse than that already, it's likely to become so very soon. The slums are home to millions, millions who live with poverty, disease and crime at the best of times, but these are the worst. We were taken inside the favelas by a motorbike gang. They're our security. We couldn't move without them. They call themselves the cartel gang, working the streets of East Sao Paulo that have the worst infection rates in the city. But these Hell's Angels are not a criminal gang. In the absence of effective state aid, they're bringing food and teaching people how to stay clean and to stay alive. Here, they are indeed angels. Nesse momento, o o o Covid ele fica basicamente em segundo plano para essas famílias. Então, ele só vai acreditar quando alguém da família dele próximo mesmo morrer daquele diagnóstico. É o que é difícil eles entender isso, né? Então, é a gente usa Houve bastante isso, mas a gente tenta combater isso, levando informações, combatendo fake news, né? E tirando um pouco da questão política e levando para a parte mais, mais racional aqui para as pessoas locais. The national government, in particular the country's president, Jair Bolsonaro, doubts the severity of Covid-19, but here they're living in fear. Communities are closing their streets to outsiders. Only residents are allowed in. After a long period of national denial and a fear of stigma, the poorest realize they're the most likely to die from this pandemic. They're trying to teach each other how to survive. This is North Sao Paulo. It has the highest death rates in the city. The point is, when COVID-19 hits communities like this one, there's absolutely no protection at all. There's no medical facilities anywhere. The sewage in the street. People live in basically cardboard and wooden houses. It's quiet because actually, despite the government inability to effectively bring about nationwide close down, these people have closed themselves down. Uh, they're still working, of course, they have to. But uh, everyone here is expecting the whole COVID-19 crisis to go on and on. Many live in fear. Refusing to open the metal gate to her shack, Ruth Leet is self-isolating. She's already been ill in hospital and she's still poorly. <coughs> she's moved here from her previous street where 22 neighbours died from COVID. She's terrified of the disease and how people treat her. As pessoas que estavam do meu lado saiu todo mundo. <risos> Deixou eu só. Eu continuo agora presa dentro de casa. Eu fiquei tão com, com tanto medo que eu não ponho mais nem a cara aqui. É só no quintal para dentro só. Across the country, people blame President Bolsonaro for his confusing messages and denial. Even the United States, a close ally, has closed its borders to Brazilians. But the confusion continues and the numbers of people dying continues to rise. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Sao Paulo.